Hello, and thanks for joining us for another installment in our How to Hunt series. I'm Paul Ewing, one of the researchers here at Endgame. And today we're going to examine the benefits of baselining and how a simple delta analysis can illuminate interesting artifacts in your environment. The concept of baselining or gold images is nothing new, but it's difficult to pursue within heterogeneous environments. We tend to allow users to install various applications, and that will differ from the gold image we provided when the user first began employment. But this comparative analysis can be fruitful and has its own benefit that it requires no logic. What I mean by this is that all we're doing is comparing artifacts that may differ from our baseline image. My only recommendation is that it takes too much time to compare everything to a baseline. So only examine interesting artifacts like persistent files. We've talked about this plenty of times before, an attacker wants his malicious backdoor to survive system reboots and access interruptions. So it's essential that the malware persists. So for our comparative analysis, let's only focus on persistent files. And a common approach for doing so is using sysinternals auto runs. Let's jump to our baseline workstation, which is our sample enterprise gold image. Begin by downloading auto runs, and I suggest using the command line version of the tool. Now simply run the executable and wildcard the parameters so we collect all persistent files. And we start seeing the results now. For this comparison, let's just look at hashes and then unique that list as well, which I can do all via PowerShell select string and sort object. Save the results to a text file, and now we have our baseline persistent file list. Now replicate this on your target host. As a spoiler alert, my target host is running malware pertaining to the Odinoff campaign, which was reported by Symantec, and we provided a subsequent blog on this malware family as well. But moving along, let's use PowerShell again and specifically use the compare object commandlet by providing our baseline as our reference object and the new auto runs collection as our comparison object. And as you can see, we have one artifact differing from the baseline, which is the Odinoff malware. Now let's do the same comparison with Endgame. As I have shown before, using Endgame, we can investigate an endpoint which is a collection of hunts or surveys to include persistence, process, network surveys, etc. So let's create an investigation with a persistence hunt from our gold image. And I've done that here already. Also, I created an investigation from our target host running the Odinoff family, as you can see. Another cool thing about the Endgame platform is there is a RESTful API which can enable some cool analytics. Using this API, we can compare the collections performed by the sensor. To help us with this, each collection has a unique ID, and an easy way to get this is extracting it from the URL to download the raw data. For example, here is our baseline investigation. Jump to the endpoint, and at the top right we have the option to download the raw data. Just copy the address, and now we have our specific ID for this collection, as you can see right here. We can replicate this for our target host as well. Now there's many ways to pull the collection, but for this demo, why not keep it simple and use curl? Now you do have to utilize an authorization token to authenticate to the platform, but I'll just pass that via XARGs, and then I'm going to pipe this to jQuery to format the output, and I might as well use head to only show a few lines at the top of the collection. And there you have the collection. Now we can just use grep, we can look for MD5s. We can also look for file paths or even the persistent categories as well. We have it all within this collection. But for the sake of this demo, like we did with PowerShell, I'll just pipe the unique MD5s to a text file and let's diff that with the Odinoff collection, which I already have here. And after the diff, there's our Odinoff sample again, shown by using this comparison. Let's even search for this MD5 back in the platform, and we can see all the collections where that MD5 was present. But they all point to this same infected workstation, which also generated an alert from our malware scoring engine, which I'm showing here as well. Keep in mind that a solid baseline is necessary for finding deviations from an established norm within your environment. Unfortunately, most of us don't have the luxury of obtaining a snapshot of an enterprise environment, and it's very cumbersome to process and store the required collections. 
So with Endgame's investigation feature, we have a shortcut to creating this baseline. And we can then compare the baseline investigation with all subsequent investigations and explore the differences. A true compare and contrast, even just by using something as simple as curl. And that concludes the baseline hunting demo. Thanks for joining us and good luck hunting.